Hello YouTube and welcome to your 17th Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be covering nested loops. Now you probably already know what a loop is I've taught you before in an earlier tutorial but what you may not know is that you can put loops inside of loops to create what's called a nested loop. So let's go ahead and start off by making a simple for loop. So we're going to create a for loop for int i equals 0 or here let's just do i equals 1 i is less than or equal to 10 i plus plus so what this for loop is going to do is it starts off at 1 and it's going to go through until i is less than or equal to 10 so it's going to go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and it's going to add one each time which will make it count up by one so um, this is pretty simple you probably already know this but um, we can also put another for loop inside of the for loop that we have created so let's just do this and now inside this inside for loop if we see out x then when we come up here and run this you can see that it prints 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 and it does that 10 times now I'll organize this a little bit better for you so you can really see what's going on um, so we'll come down here and inside of our first for loop we'll just see out we'll put some spaces and then we'll see out I and then we'll just end the line so what this is going to do is it's going to create pretty much a grid and the grid is going to be five tables across I mean five lines across um, and ten down so here we go you can see it says one two three four five and this is the first the first loop starts and i is equal to 1 and the loop inside of that it goes all the way to 5 and then it ends that loop and it starts the first loop a second time and then it runs the inside loop until the inside loop is done and then it starts it again and uh, it'll go through and do this over and over again now uh, this might be a little confusing to you uh, I'll try to explain it one more time once you get it it's a real simple con uh, concept and this tutorial is going to be really short because there's not much for you to learn you just have to understand it so basically what it does is it starts off with this for loop right here and so this for loop is running the first time and the first time it's running i is equal to one and so the code inside of it is what it's going to run the first time and since we have another for loop inside of this loop it's going to run this loop right here to completion before it does this C out and then starts the outside loop again. So I is equal to 1 and then X is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then it comes down here and ends it and then I is equal to 2 again and then X is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and each time it goes through this one right here resets. So try to understand that. If you have any questions leave them in the comments because I know this can be a kind of hard topic to grasp and thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.